In a class of 40 students, 34 like bananas, 22 like pineapples, and two dislike both fruits. The student is randomly selected. Find the probability that the student A likes both fruits, B likes at least one fruit, C likes bananas given that he or she likes pineapple, and D dislikes pineapple given that they or he or she likes bananas. So something like this. It's kind of crying out for you to draw a Venn diagram really. It's telling you how many, it's telling you how many dislike both. It's telling you we don't know how many like both. It's talking about bananas, talking about pineapples. There's an intersection between the two and so on. If we draw a Venn diagram, everything will be much easier. So I'm not going to write it, but I'm, I'm going to let event, uh, event B be um, the student. So let event B B, the student likes bananas, and event P, B, the student likes pineapple. So I'm going to deal with P's and B's. So first off, let's draw the Venn diagram. We'll give ourselves plenty of room because we might need it. So nice, give yourself a nice big intersection. And we are going to need um, the universe there. You should usually have it anyway, but we know that we've got some two people who dislike both fruits. So that means they're outside of the union but they are in the universe, they still, the universe being the 40 students in the class. So this can be B for bananas, this can be P for pineapples, and then we start filling in. So with any Venn diagram question, really, you should start from the middle. The middle we don't know. We, we know that we don't know it, firstly because there's nothing in those first two lines that tells us how many like both fruits, bananas and pineapples. And secondly, because it is question A, how many, or so what's the probability that a student likes both fruits? So that must be unknown. If it's unknown, we're just going to call it X there. But we do know that 34 like bananas. Well, 34 are in here, this whole circle. So to make that work, this number must be 34 minus X, uh, because that means that 34 minus X plus x does equal 34, so there's 34 total in that circle. Uh, using the same approach for pineapples, 22 like pineapples, so th this region here, which is the people who like pineapples but they don't like bananas, must be 22 minus x, and we know that two people dislike both, so they're not in the union. Right, so then we're going to use this number of 40, so we know that there's 40 in the universe, so these four regions this number plus this number plus this number plus this number must add up to 40. So 34 minus x plus x plus 22 minus x plus 2 must equal 40. So a minus x and a plus x will cancel out to nothing. Add out the numbers. So add up the numbers. 34 plus 22, 56, plus another 2 is 58. So 58 minus x equals 40. So for that to be true, x must equal 18. So if x is 18, well, we can just start to fill in the diagram. I would just now put 18 in here. 22 minus 18 must be 4. And 34 minus 18 must be 16. So now we know how many are in each region, it should be really, really quick and easy to answer the probability questions. So question A was find the probability they like both. So we're finding probability bananas and pineapples. So we're looking for the intersection. So remember, general theoretical probability is the number of favorable outcomes, e.g. the number of um, outcomes involving this thing being true over the total number of possible outcomes. So there's 18 people like bananas and that should say pineapples. So 18 and there are 40 in total. You could simplify that to 9 over 20. It won't go any further. Uh, part B, uh, the probability they like at least one. Well if they like at least one, so that means they like bananas or pineapples or both. So it's the probability that they're in the union. So they're either here or here or here. So there's two ways to do this. You can um, you can add up all these three numbers uh, or you can realize that there's only two that aren't in the union and there's 40 in the universe so that must leave 38. But 
Either way, you either add these numbers up to get 38 or take this away from 40. There's 38 students in the union and there's 40 students in total. So 38 over 40 can simplify to 19 over 20. Part C, now we're on to the conditional stuff. So probability, they like bananas given that they like pineapples. Probability, bananas given pineapples. So now using the Venn diagram, if you, because you know a bit more information, so you know that this randomly selected student likes pineapples, you know that they're one of these students. So they came from this circle. So there's only four and 18, so there's 22 students that could possibly have selected been you know you've selected from a pool of 22 so the bottom number must be 22 and the denominator out of those 22 who like pineapples how many like bananas well it's the 18 so 18 over 22 could simplify to 9 over 11 now you could have done that using a conditional probability formulas as well so remember p a given b equals the probability of both of them happening, A and B, over the probability of the given one. So what I mean by that, you could have said, well, it's a probability of them liking bananas and pineapples over the probability of the given one, in this case, the pineapples, PB. Haven't got space for it, but what you would do, you'd find the probability of them liking both, which would be 18 over 40, and then you would divide that by the probability of pineapples, which was 22 over 40. So 18 over 40 divided by 22 over 40 would still give you 18 over 22. Uh, part D, probability that they dislike pineapples, given that they like bananas. When I say dislike, we're talking not. The apostrophe, the compliment. So we're finding the probability they don't like bananas sorry, don't like pineapples, even, can't read. Probability they dislike pineapples, given that they like bananas. So again, we can just do this straight from looking at the vent. So we know they like bananas, so we know that they are selected from this group here. So it's 16 plus 18, or from the question, we know this is 34 people. So we know that our bottom number is 34. There's only 34 who like bananas, and we know that the student likes bananas, we've been told that. Out of those 34, how many don't like pineapples? So that's the ones that, that are outside of the pineapple circle. So this area here, this 16, is B not and P. So it's they don't like pineapples, so they don't like bananas, and they do like pineapples. So both of these conditions are true for these 16. 16 over 34 is uh, 8 over 17. And again, you could have done this using your um, probability A given B equals the probability of both over the probability of the given one, which would have been probability of um, both of these happening, B, B dash and P, over the probability of the given one, which was bananas. Which, again, I don't have space, but it would have been uh, 16 over 40 divided by um, 16 over 40 divided by just bananas was 34 over 40, which would still give you 16 over 34.